Greetings, this is Dalvain and welcome back to Mordor Depths of Dejanol. We are, we are over the past couple of episodes building our new characters and getting them a few levels to create a new evil party. With one nomad destined to become a villain and one warrior. We are now going to be creating a scavenger that will replace what back death hand and ninja who has been doing the sta a standing job of being the party rogue. Because every because in this game every party needs a rogue. You don't need it. Ironically, you don't necessarily need a healer. So the standard four party approach doesn't really stand. So we're going to go with a more There's only one character, because I mean, we could... Morlocks, we're basically saying they're like... They're, they're like uh, Dark Elves, so... Basically, we're going with Loth. Yes, it, we just, you know, enjoy job done, end off. Down switch and points, constitution is up. She's half dark health, half spider. She's technically a drider in one of her aspects. Um, yeah, we're gonna go with we're gonna go with love because I mean, it's one of the few times that it's like, yep, we're having that name straight away. So, da da da. -da, -da. Just write love. Make sure you're a scavenger. Basically, a kind of a, a warrior thief, and we're going to go for something different. Normally, we go with daggers and stuff for scavengers, I think, don't we? You know what? We're going to go. We're going to go with a sword. We're going to give you a sword. It doesn't really matter. And we've got lots of iron swords and the cutlasses are universal, so we'll go with the sword and the shield approach for our scavenger because then because where thieves have to be neutral you kind of in this game they're kind of limited to, well you can have them in evil parties obviously because they're neutral. We've seen that. But because of their versatility, we, they tend to neutral bit neutral characters tend to be overrepresented, especially if you like variety. So. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, that looks good for us. In there. Now we want. Bagata. Bagata. Jax. And Tx. Now the irony here is Tx, the mage, is our front line at the moment. But that's fine. Hopefully it won't be too long before the others catch up and because we've got Lolf, who's now our rogue, she sh should be quickly leveled up because she'll be um, opening all the chests. So, we shall see.
thing I find interesting is the difference between the mage and the sorcerer. Is the sorcerer's the one who basically deals all the elemental spells and they just cause damage. Whereas the mage tends to have more save or die spells and as such and this is a consequence you may be noticing this if their opponents save for whatever reason the, ma the mage then switches to their melee weapon given the abundance of um, anti-magic areas as well Dax is a bit too low level to be able to tank that Yeah, 19. What have you got? You've got spells. It's a charming set to heal. Cure, you've got cure disease. I mean, no blank location. Sleep. Movement. Okay, you've got a few more spells, but nothing particularly brilliant.
and do the, the one thing that we went back for. Ah, uh, what am I like? What am I like? Yes. Well, that would have changed anything, but.
that was unfortunate. Is the most money you can raise for gold top. Are we ready for the da 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 da? Yeah. I will be right up. Okay, and we are back.
10 plus 1 per level. Basically what's going to happen is any insects we come across, we're going to attempt to charm them. Companion one accidentally hit Lolf. It's because you've got a full party, so that's why I don't generally use companions. But, you know, like I said, we're having some fun.
Okay, so they're maxed out on their bike now. That means they're stateless. That's okay. and now has two centipedes, so let's have the cost that have to go to four. Go to four. Except we're just gonna have, we're just having some fun. And what the is now gonna do is switch back to buffer one, so it's gonna be using the other bank. Going back to combat now. Companion system is quite interesting. Technically, uh, well, I say technically, each hero character can have up to four companions. So that's 16 companions in a party. For 20 people fighting now, which can be quite useful. If you don't mind the fact that you're probably going to get a few rogue hits in from. And there's nothing worse than having. The example is. If you have a companion that can turn people to stone and having it accidentally hit one of your heroes, it's like, that's annoying. Okay, so, yeah, we had some fun with that. This has been Darvain doing a Let's Play Mordor Depths of Data. If you like what you see in here, be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Please consider sponsoring on Patreon. And until next time, goodbye.